Your next comic on the stage uh, disappeared from the uh, Huntsville comedy scene for a little bit. Uh, but now I understand why. You had to go out and build a beard large enough to house all of the endangered birds in North America. Please welcome the stage a gentleman who's been on Homegrown Comedy, TGIF Comedy, All Right By You Comedy, and season six of Seinfeld. <laughs> Joel Elliott. On the way to this open mic tonight, I stopped by the gas station and the young gentleman in front of me was purchasing a tiny rose in a delicate glass container and I thought to myself, how charming romanticism is not done. That, that same gentleman was purchasing a single-use uh, 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 steel wool. Uh, and I thought, what an industrious boy. He was having stubborn pots to scrub. Uh, and, and when I left the gas station on the way to the bar, I noticed a spoon in the gutter, and I thought, what a sophisticated people they are in this town. They carry full sets of cutlery around in case they're presented with a formal meal. They should, they should be more careful with their spoons in case they're soup. Uh, I, I'm Joel. I, I grew up in a city that was depicted in such pro popular programs as The Wire and Homicide, Life on the Street. Uh, anybody been to Baltimore City? Yeah! What did they take? I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. You know I, up, I made it out of Baltimore with some stuff, but the, the, where they took everything was in Alabama. It was a toxic relationship. That's another story. I, uh, the weirdest thing happened this morning on that subject. I woke up in Alabama. It, I know, I, I should be used to some of you guys are used to it, I get it, but, and I should be used to it by now. It's like the 1,659th consecutive day that has happened in my life, but it's still weird. The, because, okay, the first 12,318 days of my life, if I said to somebody that I know, I woke up in Alabama, their response would be, oh my god, are you okay? What happened? How'd you get that? <laughs> like, it's, uh, that, and to be honest, that's the proper response to I woke up in Alabama. You know, like, I, it, when I first came to Alabama, my, my thought, my anxious thought was, do they know that they're in Alabama? You know, like, are they aware that, the, you know, that, like, and I was very relieved because when I got to Alabama, I started talking to people about, like, like, wow, you know, it's kind of weird down here. People's responses were generally like, yeah, I know. Right? Like, yeah, oh, wow, yeah, it is. It's, it's odd down here. Because, like, okay. When I grew up, like, there were signs outside of places that said, like, no shoes, no shirt, no service. Like, in Alabama, there are signs that they say, no shoes, no shirt, no shit, no tie. And, you know, you can walk, you can walk in anywhere, barefoot, doesn't matter, it, you know, shirtless. And they're like, oh, cool, you know. You can buy single cold beers in Alabama. Like, drunk driving is illegal, but every single gas station has single ice cold beers. Who's buying single cold beers and like, okay, I'm gonna take this home? Like, the people going there mostly are driving. They, uh, they boil peanuts around here. What is wrong with you people? The package says shell and all, like you can eat the whole shell because you boil them. Like, you can boil bananas and you probably eat the peanut, but nobody does that. What? What's wrong with you people? Uh, oh yeah, that and the racism and the Confederate statue outside of the courthouse, which is sending a real signal to people of color. I'm sorry, I, I don't say people of color. Because that seems to me like, that seems to me like you're trying to bring the term colored people back but make it better. <laughs> you 
know? It's just, it's, uh, it seems like the whole black community is decided on black. Let's just go with uh, uh, Give it up for your headliner, Dwayne. Yeah. yeah. To tell you where we are, okay, Huntsville, Alabama is like Port Portland, Oregon. Uh, like all the weird, way, way, way more of the white supremacy, you know. Like, that's a Portland joke. It's more than Huntsville, right? Yeah. The other thing, uh, there was a Black Lives Matter protest in Huntsville, Alabama. Local government got involved. They marched us to the jail. Like they just said, instead of the route that you planned, we're gonna, we're gonna, you can say your things, and then we'll march you to the jail, and then the sheriff is gonna give a speech and tell you, okay, now disperse, but use the sidewalks. That's where we're at, Huntsville, Alabama. It's like progressive, but like, not really. Uh, God, not even Irish Irish, but you've been great. I, on the other hand, have been Joel Elliott. You've seen him in such fantastic things as that classic movie.